Awesome. Oh, we're live. Oh, how about that? Hi, Facebook. All right. Back in here for segment number two of the Tyus Bowser Show. We are live at Mother's North in Timonium. Thank you all once again for coming out tonight and hanging out with us. Please make some noise again for Tyus Bowser and Chuck Clark. I'm Glenn. She's the NFL chick, Sarita Hubbard. Um, I want to thank the two of you, Tyus, Chuck, because you've been taking the time to say hello to everybody and take pictures and sign autographs. And everybody you just met made a donation tonight uh, to the Harvest for Hope to take care of people in our community that need it this Thanksgiving season. So big shout out to you guys and a huge shout out to all of you yeah, huge shout out. for bringing donations tonight, food items, taking care of people that need it. That's a really big oh, deal. That's cool. It means a lot to us. Great Eights Memorabilia, of course, is a partner of ours. And they organized all this. And they still have some more things they, they're asking you to help out with. Uh, this Sunday, if you don't know where you're watching the game, there's going to be an event at Jimmy's. I know everybody's been to Jimmy's. I mean, come on. There's going to be an event there with Ray Rice uh, to watch the game, to raise uh, more for the Thanksgiving giveaway with Hearts to Hope, and then a couple of toy drives in December. Uh, not only our events with Tyus, but also Anthony Averett's going to be doing an event as well. And then a big event featuring some Maryland basketball stars like Eric Ayala and Fats Russell and Cutus Wahab. Different world now, man. NIL, that's the way it works. Know, right? You guys man. weren't able to take advantage of that. You <laughs> get the opportunity to. Uh, but there's going to be an event with those guys as well for the toy drive. So please go to greateightsmemorabilia.com. That's the word great, the number eight, the letter S, memorabilia.com in order to find out more about how you can help further this holiday season. Awesome stuff that our friends and our partners at Great Eights Memorabilia are doing. Love Chris Rowan and that crew. Thank you guys. Tyus Bowser, you got to talk me out of something. <laughs> and, and, and you might instead choose to go with me. Okay. Let's hear it. I'm uh, 38. I'm turning 40 in uh, a couple years. Okay. And okay. my buddy and I were trying to plan what we might do. We're both turning 40. Said, what's something crazy we could do to celebrate our 40th birthday? Well, you already went skydiving. I went skydiving. Yeah, and that was fun. That was cool. That was, that that was, was cool. Time. That was big time. Um, but for, I, I want to throw this out to you. For $2,500, I could rent for one night the original Jersey Shore house to throw a party for my oh, 40th snap. birthday. <laughs> Tell me why I wouldn't do that. I can. I mean, That's a, thank you. Thank yo. you. <laughs> would, you, would you please text my wife and, and tell her that that is a wise way to spend That's some money? That's a very wise way. Thank, was Ty is the one that liked Jersey? Oh, yeah. Ty was the big guy. Yes. <laughs> we are so, in lockstep. So he's definitely not oh, talking right. you out of that. Lockstep, Maybe right? Chuck like, will talk you out of that instead. I don't know. Yo, that's Man, perfect. I if I rent the Jersey Shore house or a party, would you come up and hang out? Definitely. All right, that's we're doing it. It's done. I've always wanted to check it out, too. Yeah, right? Yeah, well, you got to do it, right? Yeah, I got to, yeah you got to. I mean, it's a, I know, I'm not making Tyus Bowser money, but, like, you know, it's my 40th oh, birthday. Like, when, when, when do you plan on, like, is it, like, during this time of no, the No, we year? do it. We make sure we did it in the, the summer. Yeah, yeah, you gotta right? do it during like, the summertime, you know. Day. What, they got the little corner, the little festival Hell yeah. yeah, man. We'll go to the t-shirt shop. We'll make some shirts. <laughs> get, your, get your face all on the front of it. Yeah, Chuck, man. how much are you cringing about Tyus and I talking about the Jersey Shore? Nah, I mean, as long as I, what's it, the Jersey Pump? Long yeah. As I, yeah. 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 You got to like do that. that. Yeah. Like what's the name of the club? We got to go there. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. We got to go. I don't know, but you got to understand. You got to call that taxi. Hey. T-shirt time. Yeah. T-shirt time. Cabs are here. Cabs here. Cabs here. Oh. God, I love that so much. We're making All for twenty five hundred. Twenty five hundred. Wow. You got to do that, right, Chuck? Yeah, you got to. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Might as you well. Gotta... Why not? Rita is silently judging me right now. <laughs> she is silently yeah, judging. Yeah. Why are you looking like that? Yeah. Right. <laughs> All right. Like, I think I got turned off. No, I'm not judging. I'm just. I... Okay. She is, in other words. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> All right. Hey, man, you can't blame us, man. No, no. You know, I, look, I, I watched the Jersey Shore just like you guys. So I, I was a fan. I'm just like, wow, $2,000, 2500 a night. Sorry, I thought, <laughs> I thought it was 2000 but it's 2000 What's Come on, Rita. Okay, like, I, I mean, 
Yeah. Do you feel like it should be? You you think it should be? I mean, be... Have, you, have you been to Jersey Shore? <laughs> That's all I'm saying. She's not wrong that it's trashy <laughs> in general. She's not yeah. wrong about that. That is true. She's not that wrong is true. About that. All right. Uh, with that in mind, we talked about TV guilty pleasures a lot. I want to talk about music guilty pleasures with you. I want to talk about if someone had access to your Spotify or your Apple or whatever it is, and they saw your music listening history, what would be the thing that you would be most embarrassed by or you would try to scrub before they were able to see it? Honestly, nothing. You can, Good answer. You can, you can play anything you want on there. What would you get judged the most for? What would people side eye you when they saw that it was in your listening I history? I mean, they'll probably say I'm a Drake fan. That's about well, it. Well, I mean, we know that. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's probably the only thing. But other than that, I mean, all types of genres, different artists. I mean, it's all in there. So I mean, whatever you want to listen to, whatever mood you in, it's in there. You didn't listen to like the new Taylor Swift record, <laughs> did you? <laughs> I ain't gonna I ain't gonna say all of that. But I mean, if she if she has some good songs, I'll definitely all listen right. to them. All right. <laughs> Oh, Tom, I guess Tom's a good DJ. He a I, good DJ I, for sure. See, he a I'm, good DJ. I'm, I'm, one of the, got, I'm one of the DJs. We got like we got two two DJs in the locker room. One is Brandon and the other is Ty. So Brandon Williams. We got like a third. We got a third one floating around somewhere, but he's yeah. the best. So he this got, was, I mean, like Terrell was definitely a DJ when he was in town. Like yeah. he definitely had control of the music uh -huh. for a while. You've taken over. Like you, you, you control music for the whole locker room. I do. I do. Listen, it, it get bad. When, when Brandon start playing that bull, oh hey, turn yours up, Ty. <laughs> oh with with the fines, that bull. Right. No, no, yeah. no, no. With the fines, that bull. What's he playing that you like? All right, come the, on, man. Stuff Brandon that like nobody knows. It be like electro pump, you know what I'm saying? A mix. <laughs> you playing, electro mix you playing violin instrumentals <laughs> of, In of hip-hop songs and stuff. And I'm like, bro. Yeah. Not before practice. <laughs> not before practice. Uh -huh. Not after practice. Not in the morning. Not when everybody's gone. <laughs> Maybe when you're the only one in the building, but if somebody is there, I don't need you playing music. And but what's why does his... he have the aux cool? I'm sorry, Glenn. And I'm still on this. The why crazy... does he still have the, the And he the has the biggest cool. speaker. He, he got the, ah. the biggest speaker. He can and... turn it up. And be over oh, so everybody. he just overpowers y'all. Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, my shouldn't God. Shouldn't it become an arms race at some point? Like, shouldn't you be going out to get a bigger speaker so that you can Got to. <laughs> got to. Speaker wars. Yeah. And I want to do that, but then at the same time, it's like seniority, you know? Uh, it's monocracy. Yeah. So, you know, Brandon's been there. He's the, he's the guy. He's a free agent, though, at the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's the very unpopular opinion in, in the locker room. Okay. So. I can't believe y'all wouldn't get together as like a team and be like, yo, we love you. Well, this has got to end. Like, you can't be we the do. DJ anymore. We do. We do. We really do. <laughs> we really do. We're like, yo. This doesn't. Why are you playing this? Like, and he just looks at us crazy and just start bopping his head and stuff. <laughs> I'm like, that's how he looks. Huh? We've seen that man dance. That dude dances a yeah. lot. Like, he yeah. can dance. Chuck, is there anything embarrassing? Is there anything that people would judge you for? No, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but I know my top two always, you're going to see the little Apple Kids playlist because so, I'm always playing Baby Shark oh, for my yeah. little girl. So oh. I always got the Baby Shark going. So, it, it used I, mean, to, I used to encourage people to like follow me on Spotify. And then when my kids came along, I was like, you can stop that. You can <laughs> stop doing that. Because it's just that, uh, what was that Imagine Dragons song from a couple years ago with yeah. the thunder? Every 20 <laughs> seconds, play thunder again. I'm like, oh, what are we Yo, doing? Man. What are we doing here? That's no good. You're learning about by that time, huh? right? The whole song, right? The He's whole just song. on, on repeat. How old are your kids, Chuck? Uh, she's two right now. She's two. Yeah. All right. So, she in that stage. <laughs> how, how how has that been for you? How has your life changed being a dad? How has it molded you as a man? Uh, I think it's definitely made me better. Um, I got to think about more than just myself. I used to all right, wake up, watch film, football. You know what I'm saying? But now it's like oh. Now I got to wake up. I got to take somebody with me in the car, go drop them off, go do football. Oh, I can't go home, so I got to go pick her up, you know. So it's definitely made me think more about others, care more about others, and um, just put myself second now. Really. Did she have any sense of, like, who you are or what you, like, did she uh, have? If, if I come around and I got on, like, a Ravens logo, she'll say, Daddy, Daddy. So she okay. kind of knows that. You know? yeah. That's adorable. That's adorable. That's yeah. really cool, man. That's yeah. really, really cool. Um, I'm going to go... Rita and I had an in-depth conversation earlier today. 
that we need to welcome you guys in for and get some thoughts on this because it's very important. First of all, I want to thank uh, Duffy's Garage in Baldwin for making the show possible tonight. Love Duffy's. This is legitimately where I take my vehicles. That's a straight shoot. I take my car to Duffy's Garage when I have a problem, uh, and they have been there for me. I was driving down to Georgia this summer, needed to get my car checked out before I went down to see my grandfather. I just rolled it in there. You got to trust the people that, where you take your vehicle, and I trust the folks at Duffy's. Family owned and operated car care facility in beautiful Baldwin, Maryland, out by me. Authorized Maryland Inspection Station and Napa Pro Care Center with ASE certified techs. Tell us that Glenn sent you. I'm Glenn. You can tell him Matthias sent you. It might work too. Tell him that Glenn sent you and you'll get 10% off your service. And you know, when we're dealing with car stuff, that can run you a penny. Max discount of $150. Find out more at Duffy'sGarageMD.com. Thank you to Duffy's for joining us tonight for the Tyus Bowser Show. So Reed and I are talking earlier today. You guys both kind of sign off of social media for the most part during the season, right? Like, you guys really aren't tweeting much. You're yeah. not. There was a, a fervor on social media yesterday because the Hershey Company introduced a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup Pie. A giant three pound peanut butter cup. That's all it is. It's the size of a pie. They sold them for $45. $45. $45. And they sold out. Wow. And Rita's kicking herself. Yeah, I want one. Rita's mad. <laughs> she didn't get hers before they sold out. I want wow. one. I think Rita's getting played. <laughs> This is just a giant peanut butter cup. You know I love peanut butter cups. We just had a whole yeah, conversation we about it a couple oh, weeks yeah. ago. Who doesn't love a Reese's peanut butter cup? It's perfection. But them two little cups ain't enough. Can somebody vouch for me on this? Like, I can't. No, no, like. The King Pack probably might make me feel better, but two cups <laughs> ain't really doing it for me. <laughs> you, need, you need more than two cups? Yeah, it's, two, it's good. You need a whole pie? I mean, I mean, okay. Mm. I figure uh, one slice is the equivalent of like three and a half. No. <laughs> no. I said a slice. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know how big a pie is? It's a three pound pie, Rita. Three, three pounds. Three pounds. I'm not going to make that big of a slice. I feel, now I feel judged. What's going on up here? What's happening? You're telling me, Tyus, because we talked about this. We all discussed that we liked that. That was our favorite Halloween yes, candy. And is. you're telling me you would not get a peanut butter greasy cup pie. I understand being reasonable, but that's going overboard. <laughs> yeah. Like a whole pie. I mean, I'm only going to eat like a little slither here and there. But you could just but, get a Reese's yeah. cup. Because, but point? a pack of two ain't enough. Who opens and closes Reese's though? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. But two, no. two won't okay. do it for me. Well, who else is eating this pie? I mean, it ain't going to be just me. I would hope not. I would hope not either because <laughs> you might not come out with no teeth. <laughs> for real. I, I would like to think that I'm sharing this pie and oh. I'm not eating it alone. I'm just saying that. I don't get fulfilled off of a two pack of Reese cups. I get fulfilled off a of king pack. So if I can get a pie slice, that's probably the equivalent of the king pack. That's all I'm saying. No. Or you can just go to Costco. Thank you. Thank you. you. You know they come in them family packs, super, Thank super you. duper you packs. Just buy one. And it's probably gonna be way cheaper than buying a whole. Yes, about $12, you know. You get, but, this is a scam. It's a I scam. I feel it's judged, a, man. Yeah. It's crazy. It's a scam. It's a scam. I thought you was going to be on and my I'm side. And I'm with you. I'm with you. I love <laughs> Reese's. No, nah, I'm M&M's. I don't like Reese's. I'm m &M's. That's why I, that's why I ain't gave too much input. I'm M&M's all day. Go to, so next week's Thanksgiving. Go to pie. I know you guys always got to work on Thanksgiving, right? Like, y'all yeah, got to go to yeah. the facility. But yeah. when you do finally get to sit down and eat a Thanksgiving meal, What's your go-to pie? And there is a correct answer. Oh, Chuck, God. I'm starting with you. Sweet potato. All right, that's a good answer. Ding, ding, ding. It's a good answer. It's number two, <laughs> but it. it's a good answer. Nah, man. It's a no, good answer. That's, that's the one. That's the answer. That's the one. <laughs> I'm going to say 1B is pecan. Pecan yes. pie is the correct yes. answer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is pie. Pecan uh, pie is the correct answer to this question. <laughs> Tyus knows pecan pie 
is the way you live. He said live. one B though. Yeah, yeah, he said one B. I mean, sweet potato pie is really good too. I ain't gonna yeah, do that. I, I ain't gonna do that. Even I, mean, I, can, if I, I can, show up at Thanksgiving and there's a sweet potato I pie. I can show one, one more, you know, more love than other. I, you know, one A, one B. Right. Right. At the end of the day, they both gonna get it. I'll yeah, they you. both. Yeah. The only incorrect That's answer is pumpkin pie, which is still a good pie. It's still a good pie. Mm. It just ain't a sweet potato pie or pecan pie. Correct. <laughs> I have no response to that. Oh, <laughs> you got it. Do you have a problem with pumpkin pie? I don't have a problem with it. All right. Never had. I never said I did. All right. I think we might have to get to the bottom of this conversation. <laughs> it sounds like you got some pumpkin pie slander loaded up in the barrel. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. All right. We'll leave it alone then. We'll leave it alone. Chuck Clark, I want to talk to you about wearing the green dye. Yeah. Something that I don't think I've ever had the chance to chat with you about. It's been a few years now. Uh -huh. um, the first time you were like, oh, me. All right. Like, yeah. at what point, how long did it take to get comfortable? What's it really like for people that just hear that and they're like, you're the quarterback of the defense. Yeah. Is that really what it's like inside a huddle? Kind of. <laughs> a little yeah. bit. Uh, to break it down, though, and go back to it, we was playing the Steelers that week, and then we had some unfortunate injuries. And then... Um, I think we finished that game out with the person on the mic, but going into the next week, I knew I was going to be starting. And I'm like, it was uh, it was Monday, so we ain't got too much going on. And I'm like, who going to do the mic? And then coach ended up calling me. He was like, hey, I need you to do the mic this week. And in my head, I'm kind of thinking like, all right, I think he like, if, if I mess up, then it's cool. That's what they expected. But in my head, I'm like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to perfect this and I'm going to run with it. But um, I think it was that moment just like hearing guys tell me like, Hey, you are the quarterback. Hey, you, if you, we don't got a call, you just call it. Let's go. Let's run this show. So then that's kind of when I had to start. Picture like, all right, I got to slow the game down for myself. Um, slow it down for the other people around me. Cause the first thing that we, we all need is a call on the field. If we can get a call, we can go play. If we not all the same, all on the same page, then it's going to look bad. Does it require you being like demonstrative, getting in guys' faces sometimes? Does that, does the role require you? To, to be that type of person. Nah, nah, I, everybody a pro, you know. But I mean, um, if, we, if we on the field, you know. Do you ever do it just for fun then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like if, if we on the field, you know, and uh, like the, the Minnesota game, I'm, I'm telling them, I'm like, we not losing this game. Like, let's dig deep, we in the red zone. They, they pushing down there on the field on us and we like, hey, let's, let's stand up. It's time to get right, you know. So sometimes, but everybody pitch in though. It's not just a one person effort. like. You know, sometimes I might not be seeing something. Somebody else might say something to me, and then, all right, you know, I come out there and say it to everybody else. So it, I think it take everybody, honestly. Are you the speech type? Are you? Nah. Okay. I, <laughs> I, I, I'm not the speech type, but um, if I'm feeling it on game day, I, I'll get up and say something before the game. But dudes be like, man, go say something. And I think that's a, that's like where I'll be like, okay, because I have the green dot, I'm expected to say something yeah. sometimes. So I'm throwing out there a little bit to say something. So if I'm feeling good on game day and you know, I'm riled up, I might, I might give a little speech every now and then. What's, uh, how's, how's Chuck is a speech giver? Size? You know, what's crazy is like, he's like very underrated to me. Like okay. he's like you say, he's not the, he's not the speech guy. He, he's more of a quiet guy, but when he speaks, like he's heard, you know what I'm saying? Because guys have that respect for him, you know, with him being the quarterback of the defense and I mean, it shows, you know, in his preparation. I mean, just coming in the first day, you know, just learning the defense. I mean, just to see him just understand it so quick. I was like, man, like, how does he understand this? And for me, I respect him so much because he understood the defense. He understood what was going on. And he made sure everybody was on one accord, even on the field, you know, telling us what's going on. But then on the side too, hey, Ty's, we in Z-Boy, hey, Ty's, this is going on. Hey, if you if if we call this, understand that you know this can go. Uh, this is a live call. This can be you know done on the motion or things yeah. like that. So I mean, he's doing more than just giving us a call, but he's also orchestrating, making sure that you know we on all one accord and making sure that you know we understand our job. But if anything comes up, that we are we are in the mention of it. We understand what's going on. So that's one thing that I respect out of him is that he he understands his defense. And people respect him for that. We're, we're used to speeches in Baltimore, right? Like, there was a dude here for a long time that was pretty good at him. Who's the best on the team right now? Like, who's the best? You, you need somebody to say something before you go got to get a stop. Who's the best in that role right now? I, it's crazy because I feel like Alejandro, every really? time he, he talks, 
you get a message out of it. But a lot of guys can talk, and you might, you know, all right, that was cool, you know, but I feel like I get a message out of it just because I see a, a different perspective of somebody that's from a different country who's, wow. who's done a different profession, you know, from the military. And, and when he talks, sometimes I, I'm like, all right, cool. You know, I see something different, and I respect it. That's cool. That's mm -hmm. cool, man. Yeah, I, I can say him, too. Um, I know Fee, Fee has been a big motivator for me. Yeah. Uh, Calais, just knowing who he is and just what he's done. So when he talks, you know, you listen. Um, I definitely say Levine is up there yeah. too. Because yeah. I mean, he's been he's been on this team, you know. Forever, the, yeah. forever. And his play shows and when he speaks, man, it's like, it catches you. So when he means it, he means it and you listen and when you hear guys like that talk, man, it just it just motivates you. So those are my those are my three or four that I definitely think that we had him out earlier this year. I don't think people in this town realize like how important he is to everybody. Like, yeah. I, I think that people maybe take him for granted as just like guy that's on the back end of the roster and don't realize like how significant he is no. to everything that you guys do. No, man. for real. Not just not just, you know, for special teams what he's what he's known for, but just as a team in general, you know. When when he's out there, when his presence is out there, man, it it helps that whole team out because everybody everybody love that dude, everybody respect him, everybody yeah. know what he does on and off the field. So I mean, his presence is definitely known and it's appreciated. That's cool, Chuck. I would be remiss if I didn't ask you something about Justin Fuente, man. Like oh, I know man. it's 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 got to yeah. be a bummer for you. That's your guy. Yeah. Um, just what. Uh, if, for those that don't know, Justin Puente was uh, let go by Virginia Tech, and, and that was your guy when you were down there. What should people know about Justin, and like, what was your reaction when you see something like that? Uh, I seen it this morning. I was like, dang, that sucked. I actually got to reach out to him. I said I was, but I, I it was like that, you know, you lose a football game. You don't want nobody talking to me first no day. So I was like, I ain't going to reach out to him today. But uh, man, when he came to Tech, honestly, I didn't want to hear it because – I had it. I had been dealing with a coaching staff for three years already. And I'm like, and a legend, yeah. like a legit legend. Yeah. So I, I was like, I'm, I've been with these guys for three years. Um, I'm a senior going into my senior year, about trying to go, trying to go to the league. Like I'm not trying to hear nothing else. Nobody's saying, but um, he brought a good, a, a good mission with him, like with our team. And uh, you know, he took us to the ACC championship that year. We lost by a touchdown to Clemson, but I mean, I got nothing but positive things for him. I mean, honestly, when I left, you know. Things kind of turned and went the other way, but it, it sucks, but it's part of the game. Hey, man, that's the way it goes, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, that's the business, the nature of the beast. It's the yeah. way it goes, man. There's nothing you can do. You got, is there somebody that, like, you're secretly going to start campaigning for for the job? Is there? <laughs> uh, I, I love him, but he's not an NFL coach. All right, yeah. all right, all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, make some noise one more time for Tyus Bowser and Chuck Clark, please. <laughs> We're just going to go get the job done this week, and then when we talk next Tuesday, we won't have to have one of these types no, of shows no, again, no, right? No. We're going to make sure we don't have this type of show again. Yeah, right? Yeah, That's all yeah. it is. Just go out to Chicago, get the job done. Yeah, want yeah. to think about it. You're still in first place, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a crazy awesome. thing. So. It ended up working out in the end, right? Like, that's exact, yeah. exactly right. That's the way it goes. No. Uh, we want to thank everybody for coming out tonight. Uh, thank you to Mothers North in Timonium. I love Mothers. I genuinely hang out here. This is a spot that I come to <laughs> regularly. Thank you to Mothers for having us out tonight. Thank you to Great Eights Memorabilia. Thank you to Press Box. Thank you to the Coco Brothers. Thank you big time Duffy's. Thank you Duffy'sGarageMD.com. Thank you to Window Depot, WindowDepotBaltimore.com. Thank you to my, my bookie. bookie. Love them. Rita, love you. We'll see you next Tuesday. Yes. We will be at Alonzo's next Tuesday night on Cold Spring Lane for the next Tyus Bowser show. Chuck, uh, do you want to plug anything? Can we plug anything for you at all? Uh, nah, I mean, happy holidays to everybody, you know? I mean, we'll take that, yeah. right? Uh, like but, um, I'm planning to do a bike drive soon, so okay. I'll be, I got more information coming out on that soon, and I, you know, if I can get more information for y'all to put it out we there. We would love to absolutely. do that. We would absolutely love to help you out with that. All That's right. a great Thank thing you. you're doing, man. That's a great thing. All right, buddy. Always appreciate you, Tyus. Yes, Thank sir. you, man. Appreciate you, man. For the entire crew, I'm Glenn Clark. This has been the Tyus Bowser Show.